Okay, I'm gonna now just show you some of the functionality of the different appliances. First off is your microwave. Uh, you can see uh, the light is on there and it's ready to go. And that's, um, and that's because there's solar connecting to it. So you don't need to be plugged in to use that. Neither do you need to be plugged in to use the plugins um, or any of the other functionality because of the solar, except the AC. The AC, I'll just show you here. I'm gonna just turn it on and it works, but it's gonna only last you 15, 20 minutes. Um, and it will probably trip off or, or drain your battery really quick. So I rec recommend only using the AC if you're plugged in, okay? Fridge functionality, very simple. Um, there's your fridge. We've got a freezer up here. And um, the functionality down here, it's very simple. We're just gonna turn it on. And I see that it, it, it started off, it jumped to auto. I don't really want it on auto. Um, I want it on either a, it's either DC um, or, or gas, just two functionalities, just DC or gas. So just so that you know, if you're stationary, just use it on gas. That's the best function. It uses hardly any and um, it'll go forever. So just, just use it on gas if you're stationary. If you're driving, you have to have your gas turned off. Therefore, I would switch it to DC. And that's this middle button here. You just press that and and it will flick oh there we go <laughs> oh you got to press a couple couple different times but once once you 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 know you will want to switch it between dc and gas and that's it not on don't leave it on auto uh, a temperature for three or four is great and uh we'll leave we'll leave it like that for the stove um very simply you have a lighter in here as well as lots of other utensils um, and we're going to turn this guy on um, by turning the gas. It might take a few seconds to, to catch because it's going to be streaming into the lines. And once it's on, then you definitely 100% want to have your fan on. So here is the lid opening and here's your fan. So it's a little noisy, but I'm going to sort that out. And if you have your fan on, then um so if you have your stove on then you definitely always want your fan on and you can leave that lid open your whole trip it's got a rain cover on it so no rain or bugs can get in um and the last thing for the for the appliances is basically your heater your heater is right here and it's uh, just simple it's just moving it from there to wherever you go and boom it kicks in in five to ten minutes you'll have um you'll have good strong heat so turn that off and good to go.